And a very good evening to all my viewers out there. It is right now Saturday, November the 30th, 2019. It's about 4.34 p.m. here in Angrion Park in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And I'm going to do a nice little walking video because I figured the sky right now is my favorite shade of blue, as you can see. Very gorgeous evening here. And uh, the lake's starting to freeze over somewhat. Not completely frozen, as you can see over there, some patches of water. But uh, yeah, temperatures have been cooler lately. And the only thing that's missing is the amount of snow that I wish was on the ground for this time of year. And uh, checking the forecast between now and you know mid-December, it doesn't look like there's much snowfall that's anticipated. So I'm not really sure what it's going to be like for December or Christmas time, New Year's, in terms of snowfall accumulation, but hopefully we'll get at least one good snowfall or two before Christmas, before New Year's. And uh, again, we're here at Angrion Park, so we'll go for a little walk, maybe through the wooded area, and, uh, you know, just to escape a little bit from the noise and the stress of the city for a little bit. And we're going right towards where that crescent moon is. And like I said, very beautiful evening here. Not too cold, but cold enough for this time of year. And uh, just wanted to mention that I will be doing that walk on Lac St. Louis probably in maybe January, February, like I did last year, but this time I'm gonna be more prepared and dress warm. And uh, yeah, we'll go for a walk on Lac St. Louis, see the frozen, uh, the frozen water. And like I said, it's pretty thick, that ice. I just wanna make sure that we go there for the walk. And uh, I know the ice is thick enough. And I'll know it's thick enough when I see the people on their ice fishing. So, I'm hoping to go back to Dowker Island, which is right across from, I think it was uh, Beaconsfield, and find that abandoned building that I came across a few years ago when I did it for the first time, before I had my YouTube channel. Because apparently that building that I found was an abandoned mansion. And uh, it's just a foundation, but there's some interesting pipes and building material that I think would make for an interesting video. But I wasn't able to find it last year, so when I did my walking video, if you remember, I was there for a good hour or two searching for it. But uh, anyways... Like I said, that'll be in January, February. So once we get out of the woods here, we'll be by the other lake here at Angrion Park. Get another shot or two of that nice crescent moon. Like I said, sometimes it's good to go for these little walks in nature through the forest, through the nature parks. And you know, I'm thankful that we live in a city where there are so many of them. And that's why I, I'm happy when the city announced that where Cap Saint Jacques is around that area, they're going to be building a very large park in uh, the West Island. Between uh, Cap Saint Jacques and I think it's the Elm River. Now, like I said, it's good once in a while to just escape the hustle and bustle and the noise of the city. And, you know, these kind of parks are perfect for that.
And there's a nice, nice view of our crescent moon. Take another picture. I'll try to do a thumbnail here of this. Try to zoom in a little bit to show you. There you go. Not the greatest for zooming in, but. Pretty nice nonetheless. And uh, yeah, this is the second lake here at Angrion. And when you come here in the summertime, definitely full of people, but tonight very quiet. You can see the sunset down there a little bit. So we'll walk in the west direction, which is the way we're going now. And uh, walk around the perimeter of this lake a little bit. And head back to the main park, the main trail in the park. Ah, uh, the moon is gorgeous. And you know, they say in the winter, usually it's better to see the stars and the planets and if you're into star watching, stargazing, winter time's best because apparently in the winter in the summer you have all that humidity and especially those hot days. There's a lot of smog sometimes. But even in winter, I mean there's obviously smoggy days because of the wood stoves. But generally speaking, the skies are clear in the winter. The only thing you have to battle with is the cold, but not a problem, it's worth it. And of course, the further away you are from the light pollution, the better it is as well. And sometimes you don't have to go that far. Like I said, Cap Saint Jacques is what I was just speaking about. It's one of the best places to go star watching. And someone like me that doesn't have a car or a vehicle, it's easy to get to by public transit. You just take the 64 from Cote for 2 Metro Station and then uh, take that to the end, the last stop. And then uh, you get on the 68, go through Gwen Boulevard, Pierrefonds, and you get off at the last stop of the 68 as well, and you're right there at Cap Saint Jacques. And I remember the very first time I went there was January 15th, 2005. And uh, I didn't know, you know, I was much younger back then, and I didn't know that we had a farm literally in the city. It may not be in the middle of the city, but it is uh, effectively in Montreal. And uh, that's when I started to explore Montreal a little more and uh, got around by public transit. I explored using buses, metros. So we'll head back to the woods now. You hear that ice underneath me cracking. And uh, another thing, you know, about this time of year is you gotta watch for these puddles, not just because of the fact that they're frozen and they're slippery. But a lot of them are not completely frozen over, so you might end up going through them if you step on them, and that's what I have to figure out here is, is this is thick enough to walk on this ice. And it looks like it is. Uh, we could take this way or we could take uh, another way. Let's take this way, why not? And I did a very similar video to this a few months ago when uh, we were in the beginning of fall. And it gets dark very early and very fast. Like right now, for example, it is, uh, what? 4.44, not even uh, 5 o'clock yet. And already it's dark. And then, of course, we have the winter solstice in the end of December. I think it's the 20th or the 21st. And then the days slowly get longer again. And before we know it, we'll be in spring again. And, you know, if you don't enjoy a certain season, like, you know, a lot of people don't like winter. You know, find ways to enjoy it. Find ways to get out and, you know, this dress warm. Go skating, go sledding, go for a walk on the frozen lake. 
that's what I do, you know, if it may be cold, but I embrace every season because I think every season has something to offer us in terms of uh, pleasure, you know. Alright, so now we're heading back through this little, uh, not as thick wooded area here. And we'll head back to the path. Uh, the only problem is there's a chain link fence there, so we're gonna have to go back here. You can see Angry on Metro in the distance. Which, by the way, they're installing an elevator very soon there. They've already set up the work site. There should be an opening coming up. And another activity that I enjoyed that I haven't done, only did it a couple of times, was uh, on Mount Royal, cross-country skiing. Very easy activity. You can see a lot of these trees have been knocked down because of the windstorm recently and just, you know, the natural aging aspect of trees. I think. All right, so now we are back on the main path here. Like I said, Angry on Metro is just down there. And uh, it seems around this area there's a little dusting of snow. But nothing compared to deep enough snow to go cross-country skiing. Or, uh, you know, it's not even cold enough to go skating it in the outdoor rinks, which are put up now, by the way. They're just not watered over yet. And uh, we'll walk all the way to Angry on Metro, why not? There's our crescent moon again. Alright, so we're coming up to the 15 minute mark of the video. And uh, just debating now what I want to do. Maybe I'll hop on the 195, head to the West Island. Or maybe get on the Metro, head east. I don't know, I'll decide soon enough. And we're right back to where we started. The first lake here. Now it'd be nice if somehow they turn these lakes here into skating rinks in the winter. But uh, I think you'd have to install some kind of a refrigeration unit in there or something. I know the old port of Montreal has that. 
at the one of the basins. I think it's the Bon Secur Basin. Very beautiful outdoor rink. Haven't gone there in a few years, but used to go there quite often skating. Maybe I'll do it this year at some point, get the skate sharpened. Alrighty. So we're coming up now, like I said, to Angrion Metro. And uh, maybe I'll show you very quickly this, uh, this work site that they have. Municipal truck. Yeah, so we'll go check that out really quickly. That uh, work site there, they're going to be putting the elevator in. Give me a minute or two to walk there. There's uh, Angry on Bus Terminus down there. Yeah, right over here, actually. You can see the blue tarp they have around it. I don't know if there's a train dock there right now. So you can see inside. No, guess not. But uh, yeah, there's the platform for Angry on Metro. And uh, yeah, here's one of the work sites right here where that future elevator will go. Uh, yeah, so anyways, we're at Angry on Metro, so thank you all for watching. And uh, to all my viewers, have a good night, and uh, yeah, more videos to come. Have a good night, all.